So I'm in first grade, and our classroom just received this big liner boat uh, drawn onto a poster board. And in each porthole, there's a picture of a fellow first grader from the village next door. Now, they want us to pick um, a pen pal solely on the, physic on the little picture that, um, that are uh, glued on, 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 on the poster. Um, I know right away who I want, and I want only her. Um, I'm definitely not uh, colorblind uh, because Shoba uh, is dark-skinned. Um, and I'm certain that, just like me, everybody wants uh, to be her friend. So as the teacher calls my classmate to, to pick their pen, pen ball, I grew so, so nervous, so anguished, because I'm desperate to think that someone could choose uh, Shoba. Um, she's from India, but I, didn't know I, I don't know that. Um, I just know that she has to be interesting, and she has to have uh, a story. Uh, to my dismay, but also my great relief, uh, she doesn't get picked, and sure enough, uh, we become the promised uh, pen pal, and um, we grew really fond of her, and we, we, we still are to, to, to this day. But I don't understand how my, my attraction for, um, for the, the so-called other uh, come from. Now, here and now, um, in, in Lewiston, um, uh, I made uh, welcoming new immigrants uh, my profession, my living. Um, I'm an interpreter, um, and uh, interpreters more than just uh, breaking the the language barrier. Barrier, barrier. <laughs> um, also have a difficult time <laughs> pronouncing English words sometimes. <laughs> um, but we we also really, I think, um, I, maybe I should speak for myself. But I think we want to uh, make our um, the people that we work with um, feel a little bit at home here. Um, and sometimes it brings us to some great length. So two years ago, um, I met Priscilla. Um, she was uh, 16, and uh, we lived uh, in the Tree Street uh, neighborhood. Um, and she and her aunt and her cousin um, had fled uh, Angola. Uh, they barely escaped um, one of the most important massacres that Angola has known since uh, independence, where um, there's this prophet uh, from the, the cult, um, Luz do Mundo, uh, light of the world, who had brought all his followers on top of um, of a mountain uh, to wait to await uh, the the end of the world, except um, uh, which he had planned to be for December 2015. Except it came much sooner than he expected, because on April 16, 2015, um, the military. Um, of the country raided uh, their camp and uh, massacred thousands of uh, pilgrims. Um, some women and children were able to, to escape um, often after being uh, raped, and um, many of us um, ran all the way to here, Lewiston. Um, I went to uh, Priscilla's house um, to fill papers, and they were really shy to have me over because there was no chair chairs, no tables, no furniture, nothing. And when I realized that they were just simply uh, sleeping on the bare floor, um, I ran back to my home, packed up the futon, the bean bags, sheets, and um, some games even from <laughs> these guys for the little girls, uh, and brought them over. Um, with time, Priscilla started to come over to my place, presumably to use internet, and at first I just thought that it was, she was just one of those teenagers that um, was addicted to Facebook and was coming um, to get her fix, I guess. Um, so, but after I've, um, as our relationship grew, I realized that I was also um, sort of a refuge from the Cinderella-like um, household that um, she was living in because under the really, um, it's, it's, it's an incredible stress um, to move to another country where you don't know the language, the culture, and um, I think that her aunt uh, took it 
um, onto her, on, onto the person who she, the only person perhaps that she still had power over, and it was uh, Priscilla. And that situation uh, became more and more uh, critical, so um, some members uh, of the community um, called for a meeting at their place, and so we met with uh, the aunt, myself, Priscilla, and a few members of the church, and there they asked me to take her in um, as soon as possible. Uh, we already had uh, started to work on me getting uh, a guardianship um, of her because uh, when you're an unaccompanied minor, um, you ha there's this fast track to get a green card um, that avoid the years of waiting to be called for an interview, um, an asylum interview in Boston. And so we were working on that, but I thought that it was just going to stay uh, like I would, I would be her guardian just on the name, and I was intent on of, on keeping her like in a, her environment and in her culture and and in her family until. Um, it became um, evident that uh, it wasn't a good thing for her. So we took the leap of faith. Um, she came to live um, uh, to live with, uh, live with us, and slowly we de we developed um, a real um, uh, daughter mother relationship, which means that um, you know she's a teenager. <laughs> um, it has its ups and downs, and as I like to. Um, uh, to call them and has its its bliss and its bliss and its crisis. Um, as as I'm as I'm talking to you right now, she's uh, over at the food pantry of the nutrition center distributing food to folks of the neighborhood. Um, I guess you could say that um, we have come full full circle, except it's a circle that uh, keeps on. Um, uh, keeps on going, it, it keeps on spiraling, yeah, um, because uh, welcoming a neighbor is always ahead of us. Thank you.